What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. By popular demand, today we're going to be doing a keyboard comparison. We're going to be taking a look at the new Corsair Gaming K95 Platinum RGB keyboard versus the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2. These new releases just hit the market not too long ago, and in this video I'm not going to be picking a clear winner or anything, just pretty much going over the features, the pros and cons of each. In case you were interested in one of the two and didn't know which one to pick up, hopefully this video is going to help you out. And if you're interested in them, I'll put them in the description down below so you can check them out. Starting off, both keyboards I think look nice at first glance, and let's first talk about the K95 Platinum. The keyboard is made with this anodized metal and has a nice brushed aluminum finish that I've said for years looks stunning but is a pain to keep dust free over time. One thing the Platinum features are the six macro keys on the left side, and this isn't new to the original K95 users as that had 18 macros. This time around with a smaller compact size, we have six instead. Next to that on top are three buttons. One is a profile switcher to switch between preset layouts and lighting effects, your standard brightness level button, and a Windows lock button. On the top right side of your keyboard, we have dedicated media keys, and these are always a lifesaver for those quick volume adjustments with that nice volume wheel, or for skipping a Spotify song in a quick second. And now on top, we have this little RGB light strip that's going to go along with the lighting effects. It is subtle, and since it's towards the back side, it's gonna kinda throw some extra glow behind your keyboard. On the back side is a USB pass-through for plugging in things like your mouse or a flash drive. And flipping it bottoms up, we have some rubber pads to prevent it scratching your desktop surface, two feet that flip outward, and this new cross pattern for cable routing underneath if you choose to use that USB pass-through. Pretty much it's meant so you don't have like a cable dangling in front of your keyboard or anything like that. If you have a headset plugged in, you can now just route it nicely underneath. And switching over to Razer, we have this all stealthy matte black finish that is primarily a solid plastic material. Again, on the left side, we have your five macro keys like your, we've seen in the past in your typical Razer keyboard layout. And on the top right side, you have a section for your LED indicators. This is where you can see things like you have your cap lock turned on, your macro record button's gonna light up here, just things like that in this little panel. On the right side of the keyboard, you have your USB pass-through, plus a combo 3.5 millimeter jack. This is gonna be used for either plugging in your headphones for your audio, or if you have a mic input, it's gonna double for that. Then on the bottom, again, we have some pads underneath, two feet which fold upward, and no cable routing channels this time around. So altogether, in terms of appearance, I think both look nice with either that selfie matte look for the V2, or that professional brushed metal look of the Platinum. Both keyboards also have an illuminated logo respectively with Corsairs on the middle of the top and Razors on the bottom middle of the keyboard. Gotta have that flashy RGB branding. And one thing to point out is the choice of the keycap font. Razer went with that more classy font choice that looks nicer to me personally, while the Platinum has that aggressive gamer looking font. And like I said, I do think the classier font is the better choice. That's just gonna be purely up to you and you can decide what you like. And I'm sure the keycap font isn't gonna make or break your purchase. And then lastly, before we move on, let's talk wrist rest because they both include them in the box. For the Platinum, we have this dual layer magnetic option that you could flip around. It's gonna click into the bottom lip of the keyboard and you can pick for a more or less textured rubber here. And honestly, it's not doing much for me. Razer, on the other hand, has this magnetic wrist rest that is like a pillow from the heavens. It just rests on the bottom there, although it will cover up your Razer logo, but it is just extremely soft on your wrist and probably the best wrist rest I've ever used. Now in terms of the actual key switches, this is where the, probably the biggest differences are gonna come into play. On the K95 Platinum, we have genuine cherry switches to pick from, and it's sold with either brown or their speed switches. And speed switches are what I have in this unit. They're targeted directly to gamers, and they're actually only 1.2 millimeters versus the usual two millimeters on your average mechanical keyboard. So essentially you're pressing the keys faster than others would with these speed switches. Now for Razer, they have their Razer Green, Razer Orange, and their new Razer Yellow switches to pick from for this board. And that is the largest selection of key switches we've ever had to choose from for a Razer keyboard. In one unit, I have the Razer Greens. They're that classic clicky key that we're used to. They actually at 1.9 millimeters. For the Razer Orange switches, they're more tactile and silent. And for the brand new Razer Yellow switches, which I also picked up, they're more linear and silent, and they have an actuation point of 1.2 millimeters also. So they're definitely gonna be more similar to the Cherry Speeds from Corsair. Now typically this is where the consumers would kind of base most of their decision. But since we have options for what's gonna be best for you, you're gonna have to decide what you want. Razer has switched over the years from kale to green tech switches, so they're definitely gonna be more reliable and durable, but it's still gonna be hard to top that genuine Cherry Switches from Corsair. 
By the way, I'm gonna have a key switch comparison video coming up soon for those three Razer switches on the channel. So make sure you subscribe, you're not gonna wanna miss that. But for now, I'm gonna do a sound test. You can hear how the Corsair Speed switches sound versus the Razer Greens and the new Razer Yellows. So those were the switches, and I think uh, Corsair's Cherry Speeds and the Razor Yellows are gonna be most similar to the actuation point and overall how they perform. But I think the Razor Greens are gonna be the most, probably most available, probably because the Yellows are gonna be a very hot commodity, definitely hard to come by. And I think Razor just produces more green switches in their units overall. Now, if you're buying an RGB or a chroma keyboard, you're gonna care about the lighting effects and the animations. And both keyboards are gonna have the typical light shows we've seen over the years. You can pick from a pre-made selection of effects or make your own, and each key on both keyboards are individually backlit, so you can really do whatever you want in terms of lighting. And if that's not good enough for you, you can go a step beyond. Corsair has their online forums for people to create, post, and share their effects and animations for your keyboards you can download. And Razer also has their Chroma apps in the software, which is gonna let you, again, download certain effects and lighting animations for everything you can think of, like playing Snake on your keyboard. So both are gonna give you a lot of freedom to create the coolest look for your keyboard, but Razer does have the slight edge here. I'd say the Synapse software is a little bit more user-friendly to anyone using this keyboard, meaning like a 10-year-old can come along and easily figure it out, while the Corsair Q2 software is a little bit more complex and confusing at first. They have made some great improvements over the years, but it's still just not as simple as Razer's. And lastly, the lights on the V2 are noticeably brighter and more saturated in person. I think if Corsair had like two more brightness increase levels, it'd be about the same, but it was worth noting for this comparison. Now to start wrapping this up and to highlight the main differences here, the K95 Platinum comes in at $200 while the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2 retails for $170. So that's $30 less. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of Corsair kind of you know pushing the limits for their price point and reaching that $200 tag. Kind of confusing for me. And for kind of like speed around here, the difference is the Platinum is brushed metal, the V2 is a plastic material. The Platinum has an okay wrist rest, the V2 has a phenomenal wrist rest. One of the best I've tried actually. The Platinum uses genuine cherry switches, the V2 uses green tech. The Platinum has dedicated media keys, the V2 does not. Both have very customizable software and cool lighting effects, but the V2's lights are definitely brighter and more saturated. So now that you've kind of heard that, I think, like I said earlier, the biggest difference is gonna come down to what you prefer for your switches. If you are someone who is just gun-ho about having Cherry, then Corsair does have the edge, but like I said, Razer made that switch from Kale to Green Tech, so they are more durable, but they're still not up to the Cherry standards, I'd say, so that's gonna be something you're gonna have to decide for yourself. So honestly, it's a real coin toss here in terms of features. And they're both really killing the market in terms of competition. Like, I don't think any other company out there is putting out such a great keyboard like Razer and Corsair has with these new releases. And honestly, your choice is gonna come down to, I guess, what fits your, your budget and which keyboard fits what you're gonna need in terms of you know what you look for in a keyboard. They both have the media keys, they both are gonna have you know the RGB lighting. So if one keyboard kind of has something that the other one didn't have, like Corsair's media keys, and you can go with that. Just in the end, whatever keyboard you pick, you are getting one of the best of the best out there, so you can rest assured. But like I said, I wanted to make this video to give you kind of a comparison of both the keyboards, not picking a winner, just highlighting the differences for you guys to help you make a better purchase decision. 
Well, to wrap it up, guys, from my review of the Corsair Gaming K95 Platinum RGB keyboard versus the Razer Black Widow Chroma V2. And I'm gonna have both those keyboards listed in the description down below so you can check it out. And also, don't forget, make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna be having a comparison video of the three Razer switches coming out very soon so you can see the differences of those three switches as well. So great stuff coming up. Make sure you're subscribed. If you like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.